Okay guys, it's Soja Girl. I, let's see, the last couple days, I decided to go ahead and just do um, a video for day six and day seven, and then I'll do one for day um, eight and day nine, and then I'll do a finale on day, nine, on day 10. Um, this time, because I was just like, there was nothing really to talk about yesterday. Um, I was really trying to get to sleep early as well, and so um, I didn't want to record a video. All right, and so basically, as of yesterday, I, I was uh, I did good yesterday. I've been getting all my limit. I've been definitely getting all my lemonade in all so far. Um, I'm getting in the half a gallon extra, which is usually actually you know what? It's two of these, and this one is almost empty. So I mean, I'm trying to get at least two of those in on top of my lemonade. I'm doing good as far as that's concerned. Now um, with the salt water now. Someone had uh, made a note that uh, the saltwater flush is actually supposed to be two teaspoons, and in fact it is. It's just at some point I stopped doing two and started doing one and realized that one was just as effective as two, and so there was no point in me going back to two, and so that's kind of what happened. And so for the longest time, I believe, I've been doing one teaspoon, and it's been working out really well for me. Um, but I thought to myself, I thought to myself, I said self, Let's try two tomorrow morning and see how we feel about it. If we if we still want to stay on our whole one teaspoon um, track, because I was like, well, maybe that's why I don't gag as much. Maybe that's why I don't throw up as much because I'm I'm using less. But in all honesty, it is as effective. I like come through. Um, when you first start doing the saltwater flush, you guys like literally. It might take a little longer at first because literally the salt has more to navigate through. And as the days go by and you tend to empty out, it t takes less time for it because there's less crap for it to navigate through. And so um, definitely keep that in mind. Again, tomorrow, which would be day eight, I plan to do the two, the full two teaspoons, okay? Um, I haven't put it in my bottle yet, as a matter of fact, that just reminded me, um, which I will. Um, what else did I want to add? My weight as of this morning was... 129 point 129 point what? I wrote it down with something too. Let me see. A dabba 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 dabba. 129.4. So I am down exactly 9.8 pounds as of this morning, which was the start of day seven, which means that six days complete. I am down 9.8 pounds, almost 10 pounds. So um, I'm, I'm okay with that because it's, it looks like the weight is starting to slow a little bit. Um, now I have pretty much worked out every single day of my cleanse except today which is my rest day. Um, I went to the gym yesterday and did arms. Um, I don't feel like my strength is dropping. I really still feel strong. I still feel I've been feeling really energetic I, these last couple days. I'm doing really, really, really well. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm still tempted by smells and stuff, but overall, I'm okay. You know, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> one of the girls at work had barbecue, and it smells so fucking good. <laughs> Another one had a couple noodles today, and I don't even like a couple noodles, but it smells so freaking good. <laughs> I was just like, dang. Dang girl, that smells so good. <laughs> and it literally, you know, I was like, gosh, you know what I would do for some freaking noodles? Some freaking ramen noodles? Some cottage cheese, some peaches, some hummus? There's just so many things that I'm craving. Um, but I'm doing good and I'm staying strong and I have not cheated and you guys know if I cheat, I'm going to tell you that I freaking cheated and I had some nuts, which is always my freaking go-to cheat is cashews, always. Um, but I've been doing really, really good. I'm really proud of myself. Um, today is the end of day seven. I am going. I just finished my lemonade probably 20 minutes ago. Um, I have my salt water back there. Well, I don't have it at the salt yet, but my bottles are back there next to the bed. So as soon as my alarm goes off, I'm going to take it to the head real quick, and then I'm going to chill until I come through. Or edit videos or respond to comments on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, the tea. I did the tea last night. Well, I'll do it every night. But I noticed that last night I didn't have to get up. I didn't have any abdominal cramping or anything like that. And the cramping's not necessarily bad. It's just that it's uncomfortable. Okay. And I would say usually for me at least about that five hour mark is when I start to really feel it. Um, and I have to get up and I have to use the restroom. 
but I noticed that last night I didn't come through with the tea. I didn't come through this morning with the tea. I didn't come through until after I did my salt water flush. And so um, the tea did not work for me last night, but I don't necessarily think that it ha it's bad that it didn't work. Um, and I honestly don't think that I steeped it long enough because I noticed that the longer you steep it, the more effective it is. And so I had Someone, now the biggest question right is always, now. do you gain the weight back? Um, with me personally, I do gain the weight back. I gain half, if not all the weight back. Um, and my thing with that is I'd rather lose weight and gain back healthy weight um, than regain fat. Like literally, if you eat crappy and eat just junk, you're going to gain it back as fat. But my goal is always to gain it back, back in a healthy way. So yes, I do gain half, if not all my weight back. And I'm absolutely okay with that. This is not about weight with me. If I could do my 10-day cleanse and not lose a pound, I would, be, I would still do it, in all honesty. Um, someone asked, I lose my boobage. Um, I'm already kind of small as it is. It's just fat, okay? I am like most women. When I lose weight, my boobs and my ass is the first to go. As simple as that. And so, um, yes, when you lose weight, if you cleanse, you drop weight, you will lose your boobs. Um, or it, you would lose weight there. Well, you lose weight everywhere. So, yes. Um, you lose other than that, too. I can't think of anything else that I wanted to talk about. And so, I will leave it there. And I will see you guys after day nine. Later, guys.